hey guys today we are going to create a web app where i will teach you how to do a better web app with all the responsiveness and the functionalities to do this i'm in need of a web app which is simple yet more powerful so i was looking into the web and i found this app this is a link tree where you can paste the links and it will create a web page for us where we can where we can use all the links we have combined in this single page and use it on the go what we are going to do is to create a mocking design for it okay we are not going to be make it exactly this functional but let's grab this ideas and let's see how it goes with our web app okay so to do that let's first design the layout we have to choose a color for our web app so the best way to choose a colors scheme is colorhunt.co so i have picked the four colors for us and i have uh, attached in the project okay so without further delay let's create the layout for our web app <clears throat> so in here for starters so those who didn't know how to create a project simply let's see control shift p and in here we can see the flutter new project if you are new to flutter then i will link an attachment down below where you can find my tutorial video where you can find how to download and run flutter app in your device okay so i'm going to create a new project it is going to be an application and i'm going to select a folder and after that i will give a name so i have already created the project so i'm not going to do that but you should be so after that which is successfully completed then we have to create these three folders so this is the main important folders that uh, every web app project should contains so the one is component and the model and the service so i will explain why these three folders is necessary with an example later but just now create a component and model and service folder in here and after we can have this constant file to store all the constants so i in here i am using the um, color schemes here so i am just copying all the colors that i have grabbed here and i have pasted it here so that it will be a greater reference for us after choosing every colors we need to design a layout here so what i did is i have created some sample layout for us to work in this project so that i will be making a unique mock design without copying any of the reference from the link trees okay. so this is the layout that i have created where we should be able to uh, use this reference to create our own app okay the first thing is the header one so this will be going to take the entire width and i added some margin written right so and then in here uh, we are going to have this nav bar here so this is a side nav bar okay and this is a header so this header is going to have some uh, details regarding the web pages and this is going to be a report kind of things where we can add several analytic part and everything and uh, this is going to be the preview section and this is going to be an editor section so when we edit in here it will be going to be revealed in here so how do we make this more responsive so because if we change the size yeah it is going to uh, going to be changing size according to the display and everything so what we mainly need to do is so we we need to make only one thing responsive and every other thing static so which means what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this header as it is so because header will not be going to be affected by anything but i'm going to change this side nav bar according to the sizes if the size is too small i'm going to remove this side nav bar so that like it will have more space it, it can occupy the space in here so this is going to be static 70 pixel and this is going to be static 70 pixel and regarding this preview so we can have two ways two way approach so i'm going with the simplest way where we can make this one as static so i'm going to give a size of 500 here and i'm going to make this size not not anything going up or going down in any means i'm going to leave it like that so after that we will be having this central control space which is floating so what i will do is i will make this two containers responsive so without um any hesitation let's uh, create this header file first and then we can move to everything so in here so i have created every folders for us okay but i'm going to go with header okay <coughs> so in here uh, i'm going to have this google fonts okay so the google font is a package which is uh, available in pub.dev we can directly go to pub.dev or we can do control shift p and here we can see this add dependency and in add dependency we can see the google google fonts right here we can add it okay 
so after we add it we can import it so what i will do is i will create a stateful widget here i'll create a stateful widget header and after that inside the container what we need is inside a container we need a 70 pixel with a border radius container right so i will leave this container here and uh, what i will do is i will add the height 70 pixel and width and then a margin as i told that is a margin in here and here and here right so after that i'm going to add the decoration here after dec the decoration i'm going to have these colors so as i told this color is coming from the constant which we already copied and pasted from the color hunt so i'm going to give the border radius greater i mean equally uh, half greater than the original height so that like it will give a rounded radius right so we can also mention it as 70 but i'm going with 55 here so as of uh, the border ready border so i will be adding this border so this is just kind of a reference with the red color so we are going to remove it afterwards because uh, in some displays the colors is not going to be appear properly so if i use this border it will be more easy and convenient to view the web app easily so after that i am going to add a box shadow here so inside the box shadow after this ter tertiary color i am going to have this secondary color which is a little bit dark and i am going to add a opacity for for it so that it will have a good color contrast so yes so after this box shadow when we reload it when we have our first run okay now that we can see we are getting this header right so in this header to be appear like i have added the column into the scaffold so th this is the general boilerplate code that will be available in main dot dot when we go there so this is the starting point of the every uh, flutter program i mean the flutter project so inside the scaffold i added the background color so the main color is our theme color for this background so i will be adding this main color so inside this column i added the first element header so now let's move to the image and let's see so in here after this column so i had this column so this will be going to have a column first and after that we are going to have a row here right so we are having three significant boxes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a row here and i'm going to add another so this we have named as a nav bar so let's create this nav bar so let's see let's consider this nav bar is equal to this right so we just have to change the height and radius for it so what i will do is I will just create a row here <coughs> and children so I'm not going to mention any children now because I didn't have this nav bar so let me just finish the nav bar quickly and come to come back to you okay guys so now I have created this nav bar so what I did is I am just inverted this so height will be 70 and width will be the actual width of the page now I changed it to the height to the actual height of the window and the width to be 70 so when I made this it happened to have this problem <coughs> so yes we have to mention it in intent here right so after reload i am able to see this error so here we have this 94 pixel overload so why why is this because so we have added this 70 per 70 pixel here right and an 8 pixel and 8 pixel so as of calculation it will give a 90 uh, approximately less than 94 but here also we are having a 8 pixel border and 8 pixel border down below so it will be calculated as a 94 so to make it a quick uh, resolving here we can add just whatever the pixel is overloaded we can just minus it so it's it's just simple so this is uh, my simple way of uh, making it uh, going off it will be also be responsive because like we have moderating it with uh, whatever height we have right whatever height the actual chrome window occurs so in that means if we minus that value then it will be going to have the better responsiveness so as of now we are occurring this responsiveness so let's see what the next thing we so next in here we are going to have a column here right because it, it contains a two significant element one below down so let's not worry about this because this this should be responsive based on what these two sizes are right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this window now i mean the preview window here so now that we are going to create this preview window here as of next so let's see uh we are going to have the width as 500 as i told it is going to be static and uh, inside that we are going to have some container that is going to have some border radius and uh, border color so that like it will look like a mobile phone 
so i have ordered this preview stateful widget here and i have imported it in the preview as of we are going to have the same row right same row uh, in here we are going to have the same row so it, it is going to be a later part of the element but until we add this column we can add this as a second part so inside this preview i'm going to first add the width and the margins so yes so we have added the width and margins here so after that i'm going to go with the decorations so inside the decoration we are going to need a color and the border here for our understanding purposes so i have given that in here so after that i'm going to have this box shadow so that like it will have a better looking so i've added it so and then i'm going to have another container in this container what i will do is i will add a margin here instead of uh, making it a center widget i'm going to add a margin up and down so that it will have an animated response when we have a responsive layout for this section so yes so i'm going to add this more region so and then even in the decoration we are going to have a 60 percent 60 pixel curve and then a border of 18 pixel and we are going to make it as a white one white background for now so yes so if it is done let's reload it it should be appeared as a second window here so yes we can see that uh, it is having a second window here and just so it, it looks just like what we expected but without the border so yes <clears throat> okay now that we have completed this preview and the uh, navbar so let's add the column in the middle of the section so i will just add the column here and just will run okay. so uh, as i told and we are going to have this report section and we are going to have this editor section so let's create the report section so i have created this stateful widget so inside the container we can see that uh, i'm going to have some borders border radius and everything so it is going to be the same uh, things that we are going to make so let's maybe actually quick call okay so i have added this height width and everything so under the decoration under this border and border radius i have given 25 border radius so and then the box shadow yes so so when we do this so i'm actually given the width as uh, the complete width of the page as i told that it, it will be better if we give the first entire width and then whatever the overflow taken we can minus it so i will just reload it and i reload it we can see that so i haven't imported it yet so in here inside the children we are going to import the report section it is going to be x okay or float by 602 pixels so yes so what i will do is i will go to report and i will minus 602 pixel here yes. still here that's it so if i do that so it will be going to be better so uh, we, it is also be responsive right so it is not going to be overflowed anymore so yes so it is responsive you now so we have done that so this will be similar to this editor window in here Okay, let me finish the editor sections too i have finished the editor sections so inside the editor so i'm going to have the same widths and everything just we have to minus six so pixels <coughs> so yes so after this completion so we can just add this section in our main data so inside here i'm going to after report i'm going to go back to the editor So yes after this we can see the exact layout that we have needed so now uh, instead of focusing on this header on this everything so it is going to be changing as per your wish right but the editor part is not going to be an editor i mean the choosing one because it is going to be mandatory so let's focus on the editor window on the next video